wanted to thank all of you for what you've done for me this last week since Bill's accident. Since Bill's death. I, I guess it's no secret that things weren't so terrific between us the last year or so. But when you're married to someone and you lose them like that in some dumb accident, it's not easy. It's a loss for me and for all of you. Especially for Vivian and, and Ed. You were with Bill since way back. When I first married Bill and came here a complete stranger, you were all very supportive of me. And this last week, you proved that it wasn't just for show. And I thank you. Cured him, kid. How oh, nicely put, Ed. Oh, buy a drink. Coffee, Abby and water, whatever you like. Kate, you've had an awful week. Now, why don't you take some time off? Maybe have a trip back home and see your family. No. Today I clean out Bill's office. You ready for that? When's ready? I want her gone. I want her gone? What's that supposed to mean? Need a dictionary? Bill's just died. If Bill hadn't died, she'd be out in her ass in six months. Look, what exactly are we talking about here? Bill's bit of fluff he picked up in between lines on location in L.A.? Wife, actually. That dictionary would probably say something like a woman he married, that kind of thing. And under D, there's divorce. He was getting rid of her. Don't you think Bill would have wanted us to give her the pink slip? Wouldn't that have been his dying wish? Tracy? Yeah? It's Kate here. I'm in Bill's office. Can someone organize me a trash can? Giant size? Sure, right away. Trace. Hello. Voila. Voila yourself. Anything here take your fancy? Scotch, waste paper, unpaid accounts, illicit substances. Designer accessory. I should have checked. Sorry to bother you, Kate, but the accountant and lawyer are here. Conference room clear? Uh-huh. On Ed, I can't get into Bill's computer. It needs a password. Anything worth anything is in there, Ed. Could be the crown jewels. Ah. Tracy, that computer guy, Sarasan. Give me his number. Okay, let's see if I have this straight. My husband died without a will. Wasn't carrying life insurance. I have now inherited his considerable debts. And all I get to pay them with is his share in this agency and the warehouse that we're renovating minus the mortgage? It's why we thought it better to have this meeting sooner than later. I thought you guys were meant to be handling Bill's affairs. Did you ever try giving him good advice? So what do you advise me? I'm listening. Sit tight. Trade out. Remortgage the warehouse. No more debt, please. I'm selling the warehouse. It was bought in the boom. If you sell now, you won't cover the mortgage. You'll walk out owing the bank money and paying rent on top. Do you have all this on paper? I'm just going. You okay? Going. 
They're not. They stopped after our apartment. Look. Why don't I come in, mix you a drink, cook you a meal? <laughs> You're too much like Bill. Hey. I wasn't suggesting anything. Well, he was my idol. Charming as he was. Ed, you could do better. Can I help you? Ed called me. Oh, the password. You must be Sarasan. Yes. Your husband's password was Big Ed. You want something different, maybe? No, thank you. We did meet, didn't we? At the Christmas party. You did those uh, wonderful graphics for um, uh, male fragrance. That's right. Do you want a bran muffin? I have. <laughs> I'm sorry about your husband. He was a good man. Hello? Oh, now go. Hold on. My sister. I'll take it outside. Bye. Bye. Run. Okay, bye. One for me, please. I remember when Bill gave you that thing. For stealing the Hadley account, right? Want to steal something really big? Temptress. How big? 
a Pan Air account. Oh, <laughs> you'd be excited. Bill was playing around with the concept for them. Mm. I like it. Well, I don't. You don't like the idea of stealing the Pan Air account? I don't like the idea of a jumped-up graphics artist running with one of Bill's ideas. She's our partner, Viv. Taking over his office. It's a good concept. I want to run with... It was Bill's concept. Look, I just... <sighs> hey, come on, Viv. You and me both, kid. Is that a hard one I can feel? Hey, Ed. It's a very sweet gesture. Now, if you were Bill, you'd be having me on the desk by now. <sighs> well, he always was my role model. Ed, you'd never go up against me, would you? I've always been 100% loyal to this agency, you know that. I reckon you could get maybe a uh, thousand? 1100 a month? That much with a painting not finished? Nah. Tell them it's tenement chic. Is the elevator not working? So we'll find your jogger. Hi. I'm a jogger. <laughs> Sorry. Just read a book on post grief dependency. Ah, oh, they should ban those books. Okay, uh, maybe now instead of having incredibly hot sex, we could talk about the Panera account. Computer guy. A few computer graphics, nothing too fancy. Well, it all sounds great to me, Ed. All right, so tomorrow we hit the ground running, okay? <laughs> There's a guy hanging around your alley. You want me to call the police? There's always someone there, Ed. I don't know, the alley must be warm or something. But thank you. Okay. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I have to work late. The district. Are there rats? Look, Ms. Wheelwright, if you're not interested. There was plague here once, you know. Turn of the century. That was the rats. There are no rats. I don't think with the dampness. Okay, Ms. Wheelwright, I'll show you out. Has this place passed building inspection? 
Goodbye, Ms. Wheelwright. Hi. Hi. It's good. You want it? Sure, I want it. It's perfect. Um, it's a month in advance, two fifty a week. But that doesn't start until you move in. Today's okay. <laughs> Today's fine. Damn. I never thought I'd get the place rented. Great advertising person, right? Really has faith in the product. <laughs> Sorry. Just recording the sound of the doors. Sound effects for a computer game I'm writing. Well, what'd you do? Kick it someplace special? I fixed it. You fixed an elevator? Needed new wiring. If it's got wires, I can fix it. <laughs> Thank you. It was a piece of cake. Oh. <laughs> and listen, uh, I'm gonna be eating dinner by. Why, thank you. It's kind of freaky. What's that? Me from Japan, you from America. Sitting here in Sydney, eating spaghetti. Well, the wine's Australian. Right. <laughs> so what are you doing here? You fast. All right, we'll trade. <clears throat> my dad's a cop born in the Bronx, moved to L.A. My mom's an Angelino, which means that she was actually born in L.A., which is kind of rare. OK, your turn. My father was in the foreign service. We were based here when I was young. Oh, in the embassy? Yeah. This is where my sister and I went to school. So she's still here now? Yes. Am I going to meet her? Maybe. You're a great cook. This is a fire. Thank you. I love to cook. Bill never liked my cooking. He said I made great reservations.
Ivan. You should call the police. If I know Bill, that gun's not even licensed. You want me to get it of it? Please. This is dumb. I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll help you. You go to bed. Good night. Good night. Thank you. What are you doing? I found these. Yeah. Bill bought a whole security system and never had it installed. You know, after last night, I think we might need it. Um, listen, you, you know, I was, um, I was really too shook up last night to say it. But I owe you, I don't know, just about everything. Anything since I, yeah, getting a bit giggling. We really need to sort out this office situation, Kate. Excuse me? Well, since this was Bill's office, and since I really am the senior partner. Well, okay, it's no big deal. I'll just take yours. You're really going to hang around? I'm not hanging around. I'm hanging in. And why wouldn't I? I part on this place. What's this about, Viv? Well, Ed, it's about sleeping your way to a partnership. You're talking about me. I don't believe you. If we're talking sleeping our way to partnerships, why don't we start with you, Viv, old faithful, the one good old Bill bopped through three marriages and never married. Well, I can tell you this. If the corner office goes to whoever was screwing Bill while he was married to me, it's not going to be just you in here, sweetheart. It's going to be like 42nd Street with all of you opening and closing your legs on the beat like some goddamn horizontal chorus line. Kate, can we do this some other time? Yes. Yes, I'm sure we can. <sighs> Why did I just do that? Provocation? I gotta get down on my coffee.
I thought you were dying. No. So the sounds are TV, right? Ah, oh, video game. Oh, you're playing a video game. Writing one. Look, I'm sorry if you were upset today. You know about the thing between me and Vivian? That's okay. Okay, bye. Working weekends, then? Any account. You are keen. Can I tempt you? Well... Was going out for a hard stopping hamburger lunch. But oh, that was certainly hard stopping. But you didn't die. Almost. I guess now we both uh... don't analyze it. It was good. Yeah. Dinner, maybe. It better be an invitation. Ed, the Pan Air thing, I believe it's you doing it. And now, to the heroine of the moment. The person without whose creative genius we could never have stolen the Pan Air account from, Battley Morton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What about your tap dancing act? Yay! And Sato-san's computer graphics? Yeah. Where is he? Yeah, where is he? What is going on? Hey, we need to talk. The fire department's gonna hate this. The insurance company. You know, security for the equipment. Like a zoo. The rain? Yeah. Had breakfast this morning with the bank and our lawyers. They're all agreed. You and I are going to buy our Kate's end of the business and kick her ass out of here. Hang on a bit. You and I become equal partners. She just got us the Pan Air account. <laughs> so? So, maybe there's more where that came from. This is that Galahad I'm talking to. White Knight saves Widow in distress. This is the new act, Ed. Why don't Kate and I get together and buy you out? Because Kate can't send you to jail. I beg your pardon? That soft line you got from Bill. 
when you were buying your apartment. It was hidden in the H.J. Peters accounts. Bill told me that was out of his own back pocket. <laughs> Do me a favor. You signed off on the accounts, Ed. The money trail's there. I'd say three years inside. Morning, Tracy. Good morning, Kate. Kate, Ed and Vivian would like to see you in the conference room. Kate, come in. What is this meeting about? Sit down, please. Do you want to do this, Ed? This company's Articles of Association. Uh, page 21, highlighted in green. You'll find that under the articles, any two of the three shareholders, us, can acquire the shareholding of the third party, subject to a fair and equitable price being struck. Uh, the definition of fair and equitable price is on page 22. What do you think you're doing? Uh, page 22, highlighted in green again. That price being approved by our auditors, Cannings, Martin Cannings. Ed. Sorry. The report of Cannings, Martin Cannings. Page five gives the bottom line of what a one-third share in the company is worth as of this date. Highlighted in green, no doubt. <laughs> this envelope contains a certified check for that amount. Ed, look at me. Speak to me. Kate, it is a generous settlement. What happened yesterday? Tracy, can we have security in here? They'll escort you from the premises. I'm a criminal now? I'll see you two in court. The check. Shove the check. Myself, something went off it. You're not about to have it. You wanted something, Viv? Yeah. This place cleaned up. My things moved in. I'm gonna fight it, though. Sure. I'm seeing the lawyer tomorrow. You know, I'm going to have to put a little pressure on, though. In the past, there have been corners cut. Stuff the tax people and securities commission would like to know about. Don't demean yourself, Kate. That's not you. You could just take a check. Set up your business. Kate here, I need to speak to Vivian. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fletcher. She isn't taking any calls. That's it, then. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. This reminds me a game we used to play when I was in school. Okay. Okay, it's a rope, right? No. It's a rope. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a rope. Now, take your end of it. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm wrapping it all around us. Okay, now, you pull in your end. 
Roberto. <laughs> Come on. You pull on your end. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. Play the game. Okay, come on. I just couldn't hack it. Not with all the other women. The whole situation made me feel cheap. We were talking divorce. I was thinking. The upstairs is only half finished. And this place is really too big for one person. What are you saying? I'm saying... I want you to be here with me. You want me to move in? You always come on this fast. I don't want any problems. I thought we had an appointment. Uh, Mrs. Fletcher, if it's about the company matter... I'll... It is about the company matter. In that matter, we're representing Fletcher Mills Pierce. Since Bill died, Fletcher is me. Uh, Mrs. Fletcher, we really can't represent both sides in a dispute. You're my lawyer, damn it. But in this instance, we have... To... Goodbye, Mr. Blake. Bad career moves, Sato san Hold it. Last chance, Viv. I know about the Securities Commission. You don't know anything. What's the game plan, Vivian, the usual? Sleep with the fraud squad, sleep with the judge, sleep with the jury, sleep your way to the top in prison. Bitch! <laughs> Let me know. Mrs. Fletcher, I really must advise you. Serious, but it's just as well you brought her in, Mr. Sato. Well, that's who I owe you. 
Hi. Hi. How do you feel? Okay. Okay. Doctor, what caused it? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Um, have you been under a lot of stress lately? You could say that. Call for you on line four, Ed. It's a Dr. Sato. Sato, son. No, it's a woman. Dr. Sato? Nearly died? What are you talking about? She collapsed. You can check with Sydney Hospital if you want to. Oh, I, I don't see that we could have... I'm a psychiatrist, Mr. Pierce. I'm ringing to say you must never attempt to contact Kate or Mitsuru again. Hi, Kate here. I can't come to the phone right now, but I'm not far away. So please leave me a message after mm. the time. You don't have to sit here. Go ahead. Do some work. I want to be with you. No, that's nice. But I think those pills are starting to work. Oh, I spoke to my sister now. She's coming soon. Mm -hmm. Kate, you okay? Kate, I've got to talk to you. Kate, I'm not going to go away. Hi. I've got to see Kate. Sorry, Ed. Well, is she okay? Is this phone? We said Kate had some kind of attack. My sister was right. So I've got to see her. Look, Sanderson, I don't know what's between you and Kate. I don't need to know. But Kate's an old friend and she thinks I've betrayed her. You did betray her. Sanderson, you've known Kate for a couple of weeks. Ed, I want you to go away. Now. Not without seeing her. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. But you're going now and you never seen Kate again. You understand? Yo. What do you got for me? Pepperoni. Heineken, and a question. You recommended a computer guide to us last year. Is that our son? Where'd you find him? War Games Club. He's uh, fantastic. Thanks for the pizza. Who recommended him to you? Uh, he um, had glowing references. Uh, Tokyo, Osaka, Hawaii, Los Angeles. Didn't? No. So all these references came from a long way away. Nowhere's a long way away anymore, you know. A couple of keystrokes and we could be in NASA. Or uh, the Pentagon.
Mitsuru? A headache. Do you have any aspirin? Yes, I think I have. Eight it's Greg. Listen, I've been trying to reach you all afternoon. Checked out Sato's references. They're phones. You at home? We were going to dinner. Yeah. Where are you? Time zone. George Street. Air rescue machine. Five minutes. I'm out of here. Hey, this will take one minute. With you without red, I'm going to dinner. Sally! Have a good night, Mr. Pierce. Just gave up this January for this. I spoke to some of the actual people. They never heard of Sarko. Well, who'd you speak to before when you checked? If you checked? Of course I checked. Look, I hacked the company computers, all right? I found the guy's references, but the information was wrong. Now, what more can I do? Speak to an actual person. <sighs> they forget. They're fallible, OK? He's got a sister, a psychiatrist. Hey, you all guys gonna use this machine or what? We're using the machine. She phoned me. Kind of threatening phone call. I checked back. She isn't registered to practice. If you're gonna use it, use it. Yes! Read it and we keep an old guy's score. You bet it is. Greg. Yeah, right. Let's find out about Mitsuru and his sister before I do this turkey. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I thought you were dying. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I thought you were dying.
It's Kate here. I need to speak to Vivian. It's Kate here. I need to speak to Vivian. I'm gonna have to put a little pressure on. In the past, corners have been cut. Stuff the tax people and securities commission would like to know about. In the past, corners have been cut. Stuff the tax people and securities commission would like to know about. I just couldn't hack it. That's it then. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. That's it then. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Just came through. Thank you. Nose Hello? It's Kate here. I need to speak to Vivian. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fletcher. She isn't taking any calls. We need to talk. I'm seeing the lawyer tomorrow. Kate, please, come on. I've got my orders. I'm gonna have to put a little pressure on. She just got off the line. What the hell were you just saying to Tracy? I'm going to have to put a little pressure on. In the past, corners have been cut. Stuff the tax people and securities commission would like to know about. You were a director. You'd be dragged in as well. You drag me down, you go down with me. We need to talk. You all right? You sound weird. We need to talk. You're here. I just couldn't hack it. Stop sounding like a whining child. You want me to come over to your place? Okay, then. It'll have to be after work. Great. Hey, you listen to me. I'll deal. But if you don't keep your mouth shut, I promise you. That's it then. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Hello? Kate, thank God I got you. I'm hanging up, Ed. Give me 30 seconds. Greg Clayton's been helping me check up on Mitsuru. He's been helping you what? His sister phone. Said she was a psychiatrist. Said I wasn't to contact you. Yeah, that's right. You should contact her. You need a psychiatrist. She she isn't registered to practice in any state. Ed, you stole my business. Now get out of my... Mitsuru's parents died in a car crash, but there's no record of any inquest. I'm very concerned for you. Fuck off. Why don't you sit down? I can fix that. You're spoiling me. Ed just phoned. I told him to stop. Good.
be in here? I'm stuck on four. Hey, come down and get me. Kate, did you call the elevator? Someone there? Kate, is that you? Ed. Got a hold of Vivian yet? Hey, anything's in heart now. The home phone's not answering, nor the car, nor the mobile. I don't know where she is. Keep trying. Ed, there's two policemen here to see you. They won't tell me what it's about. This has got to be a mistake. Okay. Is that a 
Positive ID, Mr. Pierce. Where were you last night, Mr. Pierce? Home. Alone. Home alone. Is that home alone one or home alone two? No one dropped by. No one phoned. No. She was found in a car by a busload of tourists. They'd uh, come to see the sunrise over Bondi Beach. Probably said tourism back 10 or 15 years. There were keys and an address. In her apartment, we found a letter and a computer disk. Letter says you converted over 100,000 bucks worth of a client's funds into real estate. You can't go wrong with bricks and mortar. Yeah, well, yeah. Disk has the evidence. Was she blackmailing you? You think I killed her because of the money? Maybe there's more to it than the money. In the death of Miss Mills, there were signs of, how should I put it, anger? Like she was sliced to ribbons? I'm sorry to hit you with it just like this. Kate's not well. She doesn't need this. Just a couple of questions and we'll be out of here. Now, Miss Mills left a document alleging that a Mr. Ed Pierce had fraudulently misappropriated client funds. Mr. Pierce says this was a back pocket loan from your late husband. Ed's a cowboy, but I wouldn't have said dishonest. Well, it's possible. Ed was important to him. I don't know. Maybe Bill may have tried to persuade him to stay in the agency if he had gotten a better offer. You realize you're saying your late husband may have misappropriated this money? Maybe. But on a temporary basis. It's just so weird. I had a dream about Vivian last night. Screaming out for me. Screaming. You dreamt this? Kate on medication. She's been having bad dreams. Woke me up a few times. I re remember a dream where I went into your room. There was something strange. There was a photo. Mrs. Fletcher couldn't confirm your back pocket loan story. I didn't think she could. You realize how this looks? Where'd you kill her, son? I didn't kill her. You didn't kill her in the car. There's not enough blood. Come on. Nightclub?
Ed said that there was no inquest after Mitsuru's parents were killed. When I first checked, there was no computer record of any inquest. Now there is a record, um, death by misadventure. You missed it the first time? Well, I guess so. All right, what about the sister Naoko? Ed said she's not registered in any state as a psychiatrist. Well, first of all, she isn't there. Now she's registered in Queensland. Greg, on an average, how often would you miss something like that? Greg, how about never? Here you go, 75 to 80. Thank you. Yes, you might be able to help me. Thank you. I'm looking for a friend of mine from a long time back. I understand you went to medical school together. Her name is Naoko Sato. C could you give me an approximate date on that? Mitsuru, we need to talk. Sure. I know this may sound premature, but I think we have a future together. I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'm on your side. Wine? Yes, please. I went to the library today, and I saw the news clippings about your family. Yeah, I can understand why you didn't want to tell me about your parents. Dying in a car crash. It had me to think about it. Or the fact that the coroner suspected murder. But your sister now will go. I know that she's dead. Mitsuru, you talk about her as if she's alive. Yes. But in fact, 
And this isn't just the newspapers. An old friend of hers told me. Ten years ago, she opened up her wrist in a bathtub and she died. Ah, I understand. It's an either or, Mitsuru. Either she's alive and she's gonna come and stay with us, or she's not alive at all. She's here now. What do you mean she's here now? She's still alive. Well, like in some spiritual sense, her soul's here? No, no. I mean that she's upstairs right now. Okay, fine. Reality test. We're gonna go up there and look together. And when we find that she's not there, What is all this? Naoko wants you to stay here. Naoko is dead. No. I tried to make her die. But she came back. You tried to make her die? You made it look like suicide? Yes. And why? At school here. Because I was Japanese. Other kids were. What they were mean to you? Naoko always protected me. But I had to kill things in exchange. Insects. Cats. Dogs. Killed them? After the car crash when our parents died. I didn't want to do any more. So I killed Naoko. But she came back. Now Vivian. Vivian? You killed Vivian? Naoko made me! She deserved it to die! She tried to kill you. No, you could be dead because of her. Mitsuru. Please, I understand. You just please let me go and I can get you help. I can't. Naoko wants the three of us together now. Forever. Hello, is over there? Please help me. I'm being helped. Big sister Naoko. So good to have you here. We're going to be so happy together. It's Detective Riley, Mr. Sato. There are a couple of things we need to check. What can I do for you? Well, actually, it's Mrs. Fletcher we're here to see. We understand there were problems of a business nature between her and Vivian Mills. I'm sorry she's at the doctor's. Oh, really? I guess we should have phoned first. I guess you should have. We were here, yeah. Oh, build this. So really, you and Mrs. Fletcher are each other's alibis? I guess you could say that. 
So that guy always knows what he's doing? It's very hard to get good workmen these days. Okay, Mr. Sato, I'll catch you later. Kate and I are very sorry about Vivian. Yeah, of course. Please come back anytime. Sure, you can count on it. Go now. So this mean we're finished? Nope. This means we can't hold you any longer without charging you, man. So what happens now? Do you ever hear the expression don't leave town? Then don't. Just going to walk there. Get over here, it's Greg. I got something new on Sato. G'day. Okay. Round there to the left, mate. Down the corridor. And, uh, first door on your right. Thanks. Friend of the deceased, were you, sir? Uh, no, I'm a journalist. Um, Errol, police rounds. Then you'd have a press pass on you, wouldn't you? Yep. Oh. Another wallet.
What the hell is this, some kind of computer game? No game, Kate. What are you doing here? What are you doing running loose in my house? What kind of sick joke is this? He's too good for you, you know that, don't you? You talking about Mitsuru? He's mine. You'll never have him. Now, Mitsuru will be back soon. You'll be back in your chain again. He's mine, Kate. No way. Stop this now. Get out of here! 
Come with me. Go! Come with me now. You must go. Game over. Everyone dies. I love you, Kate. I'm off. You want to eat with me in this January? Rain check? Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello? Hi, Kate. Big Sister Naoko here. 
how's things with you? We miss you very much, Kate, Mitsuru and I. When our baby is born, we want to come visit. You still there, Kate? You still there?